Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Sunday. Gorgeous morning out here. The water's nice and flat again out there in the Gulf. Nice fresh air. Don't smell any of that red tide. The water was really nice yesterday. The ranger said it was beautiful here yesterday afternoon. Lots of people out here swimming. The only problem is that red tide is not too far offshore here. We're hoping that we don't get a strong onshore breeze. That's what brings it, blows it back up on the beach. Hope it just keeps going further and further away. See lots of seagulls flying around. I see one pelican out there. You can see them in the distance there, diving in, getting fish. Another excellent, excellent sign about the red tide. If the pelicans are out here feeding, that means there's fish out here. Finally, we're seeing fish in the water, not on the beach. <laughs> this is the boardwalk in area one, the ramp down to the beach here. As soon as that sun comes up, we'll get a good look at the water. There's that pelican. Looking for his breakfast. Watch, they go up in the air and then they just dive down. Boom. There is a school of fish over there because he's staying in that same area over there. Nice breeze here. I'm trying to figure out which way it's blowing here. Feels like it's coming. Let's see here. Let me see. There's a piece of an old feather. Of course, now the breeze stopped. Yeah, I can't tell. I can't even tell by the sea oats. They're barely blowing over here. Feels like it's coming from on from behind me, so that's good. That's the way we want that wind blowing. We want it blowing out into the Gulf. Seventy-five degrees out here right now. Really, really pleasant. Going to get up to about 90. High of around 90 this afternoon. Probably have our afternoon rains again. We've been having some pretty good downpours in the afternoons. Is that pelican out there? Just circling back and boom, diving in. Boy, the water looks gorgeous out here. Really clear out here this morning. Really, really clear. Like I said, when that sun comes up, we'll get a better look at it. We had a nice walk yesterday morning. We found some pretty nice shells. See what happens today. There goes that pelican flying by again. He's just making his rounds up and down the beach here. Gorgeous out here this morning. Absolutely gorgeous.
Wow. Looks like we had a raccoon out here on the beach. You can see his paw prints down here. There's one there and there. Darn raccoons getting into these turtle nests. Looks like one. There's a nest up here. Looks like something got into it. Did a number on it. Something got in here and did a number on this nest, number 51. You can see some, all the broken eggshells down here on the ground. Darn it. These sea turtles, boy, they got some obstacles that they have to overcome for survival. It's not bad enough, just the birds and other things wanting to eat them. Now they got the raccoons digging into their nests. Here was an old nest that the raccoons got into. It's crazy. Well, there goes three pelicans flying along the beach down there. They just came flying by. Awesome, awesome signs. Gosh, more. Another nest that they got into. Nest number 57. Darn it. <sighs> Hopefully, now that there's people starting to come back and enjoy the beach, the raccoons will be finding, finding food again instead of resorting to digging up the turtle nests. They were actually, the raccoons were starving out here because of the red tide. Nobody was out at the beach. So there was no garbage in the garbage cans. They are trying to get into this one. Look at all their little paw prints all around there. weren't able to get down this nest the cage goes down really deep so they weren't able to get into it nest number 44 that should be hatching any time now nest number 44 I don't think there's any that's the furthest than it's the most southern nest here on the beach I'm down in area one. It's looking south here at Del Nor Wiggins down towards Vanderbilt. According to the reports, the red tide is moving away. It's supposed to be really nice down in Vanderbilt, down along Park Shore down by Doctors Pass. All down along Naples there, down by the Naples Pier, Port Royal, Markle Island. It's supposed to be nice now, according to the reports. It's beautiful right here, Del Nor Wiggins. As soon as that sun comes up, you're gonna get a good look at this water. It looks really nice down here in area one. Really nice and clear. I see a lot of shells down here, but we're at high tide right now. We are probably just minutes away from high tide. High tide is at 7.35, I believe, so we're getting really close. Low tide's around 1.30. So we got a while before this tide goes out. That'd probably be a nice time to come out and do some shelling around 1.30 this afternoon. 
You want to come out to Del Norwegans and check it out. I have a feeling it's gonna get a little busy here today. I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed anyway, the holiday weekend. One of our Facebook friends was here yesterday afternoon and she said she spotted some dolphins up at the north end of the park. So that is an awesome sign hearing that the dolphins were out here. Seeing the pelicans feeding, dolphins feeding, all good news. I'd love to see some dolphins this morning. It's gorgeous out here. Clear blue sky up here in North Naples this morning. No clouds up here. Look at that sky. See some clouds down to the south and out in the Gulf. But nothing right here in North Naples. Boy, this beach is just looking better and better every day here for the past four days. It's getting nicer and nicer, getting back to normal. Just praying that it continues. where I came in a little bit earlier here. There's the boardwalk I walked down. Area one. That's the first entrance there in the parking lot. Parking lot one. Nice ramp there. They even have, they have uh, beach wheelchairs here available. If you need, you know, somebody that needs one or if you need one, this beach is accessible to all. Just let them know at the ranger station and they'll get you hooked up. We want to make sure everybody has a chance to enjoy this beautiful place. I think I see a little flock of ibis, a little white ibis up ahead of me. Another great sign. More shorebirds, more birds returning to the beach. Look how flat it is out there. Got an early morning runner here on the beach. There's a boat way out there, heading south. I saw some fish jumping out there. Oh, life is returning to the beach. I love it. Speaking of life at the beach, our friend Roy. Definitely, please, please keep Roy in your prayers. Just when things were looking good yesterday, he Started having trouble breathing. He was pretty delirious. He didn't know where he was. Okay. 
put him on a nebulizer there for a while. He's on oxygen now. He's, when I left him yesterday afternoon, he was seemed to be in good spirits and was talking and having a good time eating his lunch. I'll find out more when I see him today. I know Jennifer Ann went to see him yesterday afternoon. Maybe she's got a little information she can share here if she's on with us about Roy. He was supposed to get some x-rays, some chest x-rays yesterday. So just keep him in your prayers. The good news is his leg is definitely healing, getting much, much, much better. Oh. Another nest that the raccoons got into, nest number 59. These are all broken eggshells all around here on the ground. Although we had a record number of nests on our beach here this year at Del Norwegens, I don't think we're gonna have a record number of hatchlings, unfortunately. All because of those pesky raccoons. Mother Nature in the circle of life. Survival of the fittest. Wow, there's a whole, a whole flock of Trying to see what they are, if they're in hingas or ducks way out here in the water. We got ducks here too, and I can't tell what they are. They're too far away. I don't know if you can see them out there. You see them out there? I can't tell if they're in hingas or ducks. There's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably close to 12 of them bobbing around out there. Another great sign that there's fish out there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. When we start seeing the birds feeding out here, that's a great sign. And there was nothing out here for several weeks. A lot of the birds that, oh boy, big fish just jumped right out here in front of me. Something came up and swirled around. The sun's taking its sweet time coming up this morning. It's just, just starting to pop up over these trees behind me here. You can see it starting to get brighter right back in here. I don't see an osprey. No ospreys up there yet. We saw one osprey, well I saw one osprey several times yesterday making its way up and down the beach. Flying from tree to tree here. Block of white ibis in front of me. We haven't seen them on the beach for a while. We've seen them in the park. I haven't seen them out on the beach. I've seen them all over my neighborhood. They don't hang out just along the shore. There's another one. Oh, that was a little snowy egret. Flew right up over my head. We've seen the ibis and the snowy egrets all in Naples Park and people's lawns. But now they're starting to make their way back down to the beach. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful white ibis. I don't want to scare them, give them their space.
Try to get around them without startling them. Let's see a closer look. They're just kind of moseying their way up the beach, slow but steady. That one right there, that's a young one, still got its dark feathers on its head. The juveniles are actually a dark brown, almost black. <laughs> look like little old men walking along the beach. <laughs> the white ibis. I'm sure we'll see them again. Ooh, there's an ibis feather. Let me see if I can get it before it blows into the water. Uh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. A little ibis feather. Here's a little ibis feather. That thing is so soft. Wow. Pretty neat. <laughs> a little ibis feather. Very cool. Uh, and down here on the beach, it'll focus. Raccoon tracks. There's some, there's the, let me jump back into the wide mode. There's the ibis. You can see the ibis footprints there. And then down here, just below them, those pesky old raccoons. They've been all the way out to the water last night looking for something to eat. Hmm. There's the ibis. They just moved up onto the beach. It is absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Take a nice deep breath. No stench of the red tide. My eyes aren't burning. There's people down the south end, some walkers, sn sneaking into the park. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Just Waiting for that sun to come up here so we can see what the water looks like. It looks nice and clear. That sun brings the colors out in it. Oops, some little fish swimming by. We saw a lot of little fish yesterday in the water. Little bait fish, little pinfish, minnows, fries, I don't know what they are. But it looked like a black cloud along the shoreline. There were so many little fish. Maybe we'll find some shells when we get a little further north up here. Again, it is high tide right now. Not the best time for shelling. Those look like ducks. I see them flying. Uh, I just saw something surface out here. I think I saw a dolphin. I think I saw a dolphin pop up. Caught it in the, yep, two dolphins. Caught it in the corner of my eye. Just offshore. I think they're coming south. They're a bit offshore. Let's see where they are. Wish the sun was up a little brighter. Two or three of them. Where did you go? Where did you dolphins go? Where did they go? We can stay under for a while. They're right out in here. Two or three of them. Oh. Now they're over here. They're all the way down here. See them? 
Three of them, four of them. Wow. Where did they go? They're moving fast. There's one, two, three. I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep up with them. One, two, just popped up. Three, four, five. Five dolphins. Five dolphins in that little pod swimming down the beach. There's some flat water. There's a good look at them. Some more should be coming up ahead of them there. They're just out on the other side of the sandbar. There you go. Look at them. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know what that means? That's our good luck charm right there, the dolphins. This is the first we've seen them in weeks during a beach walk. Welcome back. Sometimes they'll come down here and turn around, go back up the other direction. I'm not gonna be able to follow them much farther here. I'm already back to where I started my beach walk this morning. Wow. So cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop. And we'll let them swim on down the beach. Maybe we'll see them later. They usually swim back and forth. So they make their way down south. There was four or five of them there. They're getting further down. There you saw them. Beautiful creatures. Wow. They're way down there now. Might see them one last time. Oh, they're at, they found a school of fish down there. Yep. They found something down there. We might turn around and come back. I don't know if you can see him or not. It's still kind of dark out there in the water. Can't see them now. Wondering if they're turning around or if they're still going south. I don't know where they went. Yeah, they're still swimming south. All right, well, let's walk back up the beach. At least we got to see our dolphins this morning, and maybe we'll get to see them again. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. That was really a great sighting this morning. That made my morning. I gotta get back up to where we were. I'm, I'm already down to where we started this morning. I ran down the beach chasing them dolphins. That's where I came in, area one. A 
was hoping to make it up to the pass this morning, walk the whole beach, but I don't know if that's going to happen now. It all depends on my battery here. See our white ibis are up here just ahead of us. Sun just peeking through the trees there. Just getting ready to come up over the trees. Light up this water for us. We're in area two beach now. Walking north. This is right about where I was when I spotted the dolphins. They were right offshore. I don't know if you can see that little white marker out there in the water. That's where we first spotted them. We followed them back down to area one this morning. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Clear blue sky. This beach is slowly, slowly, slowly turning around here. It's just getting nicer and nicer the last four days. Nice and flat out there. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe those dolphins will make, an, will make another appearance for us. That'd be wonderful. There's a little peek at the water. You can see the sun there, how clear it is. You can see the bottom. Absolutely gorgeous, clear blue sky out here this morning. I don't know how many dolphins there were there. I thought I might have counted five. There was at least four in that pod that we saw. But it is so nice seeing the dolphins back. It's hard running down the beach with the camera zoomed in, chasing them. I hope you got to see them a couple times in the video. 
holding the camera sideways, running down the beach, following the dolphins is not easy. Now we're up in area three beach. I hear that osprey. I hear him calling out. This is usually where we first see him is up in area three. I see him perched up here in front of me yesterday, just as I was gonna zoom in and show him to you, him or her, he took off. <laughs> He's right up here in this tree looking at me. There's no sun on it. He's in the shadows. Boy, a lot of little fish. A lot of little fish swimming around out here, jumping up and down. Right out here in the water, seeing the water swirling around. That's what that osprey is checking out. I don't want to spook him away here. But he's right up here. You can see him at the end of that branch in the middle of the screen. Just not getting any sunlight on him. I'm gonna zoom in. Try and get you a good look. That's about the best I can do with the iPhone. There's the Osprey. He's just up there patiently looking out in the water, waiting for a fish to swim by. When he spots it, he'll go for it. He'll just dive in the water after it. It's amazing how keen their eyesight is. Absolutely gorgeous birds, the ospreys. A lot of people mistake them for bald eagles when they see them up in the trees. If you saw the two together, you'd definitely see the difference. The bald eagle's much bigger, twice the size. Wish the sun was on it. But he's up in the shadows of the trees. Still a great close-up look. The sun's just hitting the back of its head. That bird is very patient. Well, we saw dolphins, and now we saw an osprey. What's next? What's next on the list? Oh. I can only hold the camera in that one spot for so long. Sorry about that, but. You can always go back and watch these videos later. I'll post it on YouTube as well. Usually the copy on YouTube's a little better. I'll share a link later. Let's see if I can get underneath this guy. There you go. We're not going to get any closer than that with the iPhone. What a great view of an Osprey. Just wish he was out in the sunshine. <laughs> there you go. Good look at his face.
Look back this way. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. You can see how far up he is above my head here. That's the osprey calling out. How beautiful. How beautiful. Don't drop a bomb on me when I walk under you here. <laughs> Sunday morning in paradise. The water is definitely clearing. Seeing more and more signs of life. I see a little group of pelicans flying by out there in the Gulf. We saw dolphins this morning. We saw four or five dolphins swimming by us this morning. Saw some white ibis walking along the beach. Slow but surely, life is returning to our beach here at Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Hallelujah. Somebody up ahead of me here. She's gonna beat me to all the shells. Hopefully she won't see some of them and leave a few for me. Here comes another, a big group of pelicans flying by. I don't know if you can see them out there. They're pretty far out. I don't know if you could see him or not. I hope you could. So, so good, see you There goes two more flying by. What a beautiful morning. That's all I can say. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. A few little shells over here, but somebody's walking just ahead of me and I wanna to try to get ahead of her. <laughs> Beat her out to the sandbar. She's doing a lot of stooping up there, like she's picking something up. A couple little snowy egrets over here, looking for some fish. They wouldn't be here if there weren't any fish out in the water, trust me. Little snowy egrets with their little yellow feet. Hoping those dolphins would turn around and come back and put on a show for us this morning, but not yet. Wow. Here 
Here we go. There's a look at the water with the sun. Look how clear it is. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Feels really nice out here. Get in the shadows of the trees now. This is area four beach. You finding anything neat? Oh, just having a good day. Uh, <laughs> Lots of little sand dollars. Oh yeah. Impacted They're all, by the tide, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, the red tide got them. Have a nice day. You too. Right. Yeah, the beach is covered with little sand dollars. Just covered with them sad they were all killed by the red tide unfortunately but a lot of people picking them up as souvenirs oh there's we've been seeing lots of neat little shells yesterday we found some neat ones there's a it's like a really really old crown conch worn Starting to petrify, fossilize an old crown conch. It's just so nice being able to come out here and breathe and walk in the water. I'm not going to go in any deeper than my knees. I'll definitely rinse off, shower off after I get out of the water but it's way nicer out here now lots of little kittens paws down here on the beach here's one little kittens paw kittens paw shell and I was telling you about the little sand dollars here's one they're slowly getting washed back into the Gulf but they're just little baby sand dollars all along, all along the beach. If you just stop and look, you're gonna find some. And lots of shells here on this little spit. This is where I recorded those birds yesterday, was right out here on this little spit of sand sticking out in area four. Look at all the shells. All spread out here all the way down to the water line here and the tides just turning just starting to go out now so we're at high tide big news is, the big news is life is returning to our beach here at Del Norwegans. Look at the water. Look at that water. Big difference from what it looked like a week ago. All these little sandpipers running around. Can you see them here? You can hear them. I'll 
let them pass by me. It's beautiful out here. So I look back down the beach. There's a nice little ridge of shells here to dig into to explore if you come out here. Who knows what all's buried down in there? comes another group of pelicans. Let's see if they're close enough to where you can see them in the camera. They're just above the water now. I don't know if you can see them out there or not. There they come. You definitely can see them now. That's what we want to see. The more birds, the merrier. That means there's life out there, more fish out there. There's a little fighting conch with a hole in it. Watch when I flip this conch around. You can see right inside it. Florida fighting conch. Go up the beach a little further. See what we can find. I haven't stuck anything in my pocket yet. I usually leave with something, with at least one shell. Yesterday, gosh, I left with a pocket full of shells. Found two nice pear whelks out here yesterday, almost next to each other. Maybe that's why they call them the pear whelk. <laughs> oh, there's a few fighting conks. There's a nice little one down here. Got some nice colors on it. Florida fighting conch. A couple more over there. That's probably one of the most collected shells on the beach. They're just so pretty, and they're a pretty good size, so people like taking them home as a souvenir. Just whatever you take home, make sure it doesn't have anything living inside. Other things besides fighting conchs make their home in those shells. Hermit crabs. We've actually, Roy and I found one of those fighting conchs once and it had a little tiny baby octopus inside of it. So you never know what's going to call a shell home here. It's beautiful. Look at the sky. I just can't say it enough. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous out here. Big feather on the beach. I don't know if that's from a seagull. Probably a seagull. Certain times of the year, you can find lots of feathers on the beach. I've got some nice osprey feathers. Still very quiet out here. I would have expected to see more people out here being a holiday weekend. I know people are still leery about the red tide. I don't blame them. We're definitely not out of the woods with the red tide. We 
uh, doing a lot, a lot better. People are actually swimming again, finally. Before you go to the beach, do your own research. Don't just go by what you hear from friends. Do a little research if you're concerned about the red tide. Find out exactly where it is. And all of our beaches, are, well, all of our big county parks and state parks like Lover's Key and Del Norwegian's here, you can call the front desk, the front gate. Ask them what the water conditions are if you're concerned before driving out there. Now, if you were to call Del Nor Wiggins, they're gonna tell you that the water looks really nice. But the red tide is still out here. It might not be right up on the beach, but it's out there in the Gulf somewhere. It can always come back. But right now it's beautiful. A lot of cockles on the beach a lot of cockle shells we always see those this is a little cockle shell right here a little baby cockle and over here's a little piece of a lightning whelk shell a broken lightning whelk we saw a lot of broken lightning whelks yesterday I'm sure we'll see more of those today there's a piece of an old crown conch, another old broken crown conch. There's still some remnants of some dead fish out here on the beach. For the most part, they're just about all gone. Some of the places that the rangers can't get their buggies out to. I got on the sandbars. You might see some dead fish out there. But for the most part, things are looking up here. A little piece of a moon shell down here. Almost a whole moon shell, almost a whole shark eye. It's chipped up, I'm not gonna, I like nice little specimens. Somebody will take that home if I leave it there where they can find it. I see another one over here next to it, a little one. See what that looks like. That's a nice one. That's a little baby. Shark eye, it's got a white eye instead of a black eye. <laughs> Little baby moon shell. That's cool. Well, I got something in my pocket. Not going home with empty pockets. Thought I saw a little baby whelk here. See it down there? What does that look like? Yeah, that's kind of broken. This in the bottom of it. A little lightning whelk. Over here, an old moon shell buried in the sand. That one's chipped up too. An old shark eye. What's that over there? A little horse conch, maybe. Let me see. Oh, murex. A little baby murex shell. So 
I got two little baby shells. Little baby Murex. That's cool. And we're at high tide now, so who knows what you're going to find out here. If you come out about 1.30 at low tide, it's gorgeous out here. This is area four. Here's the sandbar where the birds hang out out there. Anything else down here before I move on? Quite a few little slipper shells. We can always find them out here, the slipper shells. They're always in abundance, the kitten paws. Oh, there's a whole kitten paw shell. That's both halves of it. That's kind of cool. The slipper shells. There's lots of these all over the place, slippers. Smooth on the one side, the outside, you flip it over. See how it looks like a little slipper? Lots of slipper shells on the beach. A little piece of worm rock here. Just Here's a little chunk of it. You can find some pretty big pieces of this worm rock on the beach. Just a little chunk there. All kinds of fun stuff if you just stop and take the time to look. So the more you look, the more you're going to find. The more you're going to see. So there's a little baby sand dollar. All kinds of beautiful stuff there. Just walk out onto the sandbar. Look at the pile of shells here, huh? Wow. You can spend hours just in a little spot like this, sifting through these shells. Lord knows what is down there. So cool, people coming out, bringing their kayaks out this morning. Beautiful. Just gorgeous out here. There's a big turkey wing shell down here. There's a turkey wing. Little baby cockle shell over there. See that nice brown striped shell of cockle. Little horseshoe crab, or horseshoe. <laughs> conch, biting conch over here. Not as many birds out here this morning as there were yesterday.
There were a lot of birds on this little sandbar yesterday morning. Piece of an old whelk shell over here. I think we saw that yesterday. That piece of a whelk there, beautiful colors. What's left of a whelk? I think we saw that yesterday out here. Almost positive. Yeah, this looks familiar from yesterday. More pieces, more broken whelks. Old whelk shells. Piece of an old moon shell down there. Half of a moon shell. Kind of see inside it there. Beautiful little scallops over here. Little baby conch shells. Little baby conch. Scallop. Kayakers heading out here, getting ready to head out. What a beautiful Sunday morning. It's amazing how in just a few days things turn around here at the beach. Gallop shell. Hey, anybody in the North Naples, Bonita area? Great. Great buffet, Sunday breakfast buffet at the VFW in Bonita Springs. It's right by the dog track. You can Google it. Bonita Springs VFW, VFW, Veterans of Foreign Wars. Seven bucks for the breakfast buffet. Open to the public on Sunday mornings. It runs from 8 to 11 a.m. every Sunday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Great breakfast. Go check it out. Another nice little chunk of worm rock down here. Quite a few pieces of worm rock out here.
All the little birds. Gosh, there's lots of, lots and lots and lots of little shells along the high tide line on this sandbar out here. Piles of them. I just don't have the time to spend going through them all. I wish I did. I'm sure there's some real treasures out here. And just offshore in the water as well. See a shark eye looking at me down here. Oh, it's a piece of a shark eye, chipped up. It's got a hole in it. Get a good look at the eye, though. Also a moon shell, called a moon shell or a shark eye. Get a good look at the eye there. Sadly, there's still some remains of dead fish out here. Rangers, they don't know gets out to the sandbars to pick them up. It's looking back at the trees where Roy would be sitting. Up in area four. Well, a nice little beach walk so far this morning. Seeing life starting to return to the beach. Absolutely wonderful. Saw lots of pelicans flying by this morning out diving in the water. That is a great sign. Beautiful sky. Look at that beautiful, beautiful blue sky. We'll head back down the beach. Back to where we started, down in area one. Thank you. 
earlier when we started. You got to see some dolphins this morning. That was fun. You need to watch the beginning of this video. It, once the I conclude the live feed, you can go back and watch it, scroll through it, see some of the highlights. But we saw a pod of dolphins swimming south this morning. That was fun. We haven't seen dolphins in one of my beach walks for a while. So that was wonderful to see them. Enjoy these beach walks. Be sure to tell your friends about them. Hit the share button. Do take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. Search, search through the videos. We had some fun dolphin encounters here, Roy and I. Some great dolphin sightings. having my old buddy Roy out here. I loved ending my beach walks with a little chat with Roy in the mornings. Praying that someday he'll make it back here. How beautiful that sky is this morning. Blue sky. The water picking up the blue from the sky. Absolutely gorgeous out there. That is beautiful. I'm going to snap off a quick photo. Bear with me. Give you a look at the water again. Isn't that beautiful? All the little reflections. You can hear the birds falling out. I was just talking about Roy. I miss seeing him out here at the beach. And 
I just got an update walking along here. And it, it appears, well, Roy had a bad day yesterday. He was having problems breathing. I had to put him on oxygen, put him on nebulizer, give him oxygen treatment, and they did an x-ray of his lungs. And it appears that Roy has pneumonia. He's got fluid in his lungs. So please, please, please keep him in your prayers. Again, Roy, they just I just got a text message that Roy does have pneumonia. Not good. He needs our prayers now more than ever. Just keep them coming. Pass the word around. Let people know. If you're able, a visit is wonderful. I'll be paying Roy a visit later this morning. I'll keep everybody up a little bit. For now, please, please keep them in your prayers. I'm walking south here, up in the very south end of Area 4, crossing into Area 3 now at Del Nor Wiggins. A lot of you are familiar with the beach here, a lot of people watching. You know how it's set up. Area 1 is the closest to the front entrance. That's the southernmost part of the park, and Area 5 is the north end of the park, and that's where Wiggins Pass is. We didn't make it all the way up there this morning. We started down in Area 1. We're definitely seeing signs of life returning to the park, to the water. Water is definitely clearing up here. Hopefully, there'll be some people out here enjoying the beach on this holiday weekend. Not as many as normally would be out here, though. Still scared of the red tide. There's two little snowy egrets right here. This is a good sign, seeing these birds here. It means there's fish swimming around out here.
I just caught the tail end of a post there. Sharon, I am so sorry for your loss. So sorry. Continue down the beach here. Part of a moon shell down here by my feet. What's left of a moon shell? What's left of a wild looking little crab shell. Wow. Interesting looking, huh? A little tiny, little tiny Florida fighting conch. Little tiny baby one. That'll be a keeper there. Nice little cockle shell over here. Beautiful little cockle shell. It's amazing how many little shells just wash up on this beach and you don't even see them. They're just they're camouflaged. Look at this. Look at that kitten's paw. both sides of it and it's open. That's pretty neat. Gorgeous out here. It's a view up area four beach there. Absolutely beautiful. There's an osprey perched. <coughs> Excuse me, there's an osprey perched up in that tree up there. We got a really good look at an osprey earlier this morning. I can see one, he's really hidden in the branches. He's right up in that tree, right up in there. Always got to remember to look up when you're walking along the beach here. Everybody's looking down for shells and looking out in the water for dolphins, but there's some really neat birds in the trees here as well. So keep that in mind when you're out here.
Yesterday afternoon when I left Roy, Karen and Tom and I were there and when we left him, we left him, he was eating lunch, he had a good appetite, he was eating really well. He seemed to be in pretty good shape, definitely in good spirits when we left him. So hopefully, he's still in good spirits when I see him today. But they did confirm that he has pneumonia. I said that earlier, they did confirm that. They did a chest x-ray late yesterday afternoon. I just heard that they did confirm he has pneumonia. So that's not good for a person his age. So let's just keep him in our prayers. I'll keep you updated. And the one thing I want to ask people to not do is please don't give us advice on how to take care of Roy. It's really getting annoying. I love your concern, but keep the advice to yourself right now. He's being taken care of by professionals. I know it's hard. Everybody wants to help. But... You know, there's a small group of us here that are watching over Roy. And all, all we really need are your prayers. Your prayers for Roy. And he really, he gets the message, believe me. He knows people are praying for him. I share a lot of these comments with him. He knows there's, he knows what's going on. He knows there's a lot of love out there for him. So please continue sending the love for Roy. Yesterday when I was walking back here, right about here, I wasn't live. I'd stopped and a gentleman had just found two little baby loggerhead sea turtles that were lost. And he helped them out into the water. He took a picture of them. He said he was gonna share it with me, but he, I didn't see that yet. But it was so cute to see the pictures of these two little turtles. He said he just put them out in the water and. They did their thing. They swam right out into the Gulf where they're supposed to go. Hopefully they survive. Well, there's people swimming down here. There's gonna be a lot more people swimming out here today. As you can see the water's getting a lot nicer now. Still a little, it's not crystal clear like it should be, but it's a lot better. A lot better than it was. Like I said earlier this morning, we need that wind to come. We need a good strong offshore wind blowing out into the Gulf. Just blow all this nasty red algae away from us. If you do go in the water though, use, just use common sense. Keep the water out of your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Don't go in the water with any open wounds. Be sure to shower when you come out of the water. If you can get some, some of that biodegradable soap that they use like on ships and things, get some of that, use soap when you shower off. That's the one thing that's nice about this park is there's showers. There's five bathhouses spread out along the beach with showers. So take advantage of that.
I'm gonna turn around and give you one more look up the beach. Really flat out there in the Gulf this morning. Really picking up the blue from the sky. This is earlier this morning. This is where we first saw the dolphins. We saw them right out here and we followed them as far as I could down the beach. So you want to check that out for sure. There's a look north. Up the mile long stretch of beach at Del Norwegians. Gorgeous. Well, I say it often, sorry if it gets redundant, but you know, I don't get paid to come out here. I love coming out here and sharing this. I really miss my conversations with Roy in the morning out here. But if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always welcome and appreciated. And a big thank you to those that have done that. You can find my PayPal info here a little later in the description of this post at the conclusion of this live feed. A lot of great people in this world. And a lot of them are right here watching. Everybody here, you're wonderful. This is a little, our little community here, our little beach community right here on Facebook. It's amazing how it's grown. And it continues to grow slowly. There's always a few more followers coming on board every day. It's wonderful. Well, thanks for watching. Check back throughout the day. I'll post an update about Roy. If he's in, see what kind of shape he's in. If he's in good spirits and wants to talk to us, I'll try and get a little video of him just so you can hear his voice. It's always good to hear his voice. Keep him in your prayers. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. Have a wonderful Sunday, wherever you might be watching from. God bless.